Why do you not analyze the present time? Jesus said in Luke 12, verse 56. He's talking about seeing a cloud in the west and a storm coming, or the sun shining and you say it's going to be a hot day. And he says, why do you not analyze the present time? Let me give you a reason I think we're weak at analyzing the present time. Remember Aesop's fables, the boy who cried wolf? A boy runs in the village, he's a shepherd boy, and he says, there's a wolf out there. And they go and look and there's no wolf. Then later on he comes into the village yelling again, there's a wolf out there. The villagers go look and there's no wolf. And then later on, there is a wolf and it scatters the flock. And as he, run, he runs and says, there's a wolf out there. And this time they didn't believe him because he'd cried wolf too much. Maybe some people have cried wolf too much about the sky falling or trouble ahead. And maybe we've grown careless about trouble that may really be ahead. Jesus says, why do you not analyze the present time? Not to be alarmist and not to be careless, but with a sober, careful look at where a society goes, where a culture goes, when it practices the things that ours do. You see, even a broken clock is right twice a day. And we have to make sure we haven't closed our ears to false cries of wolf, so we're not hearing the real cry. Why do you not analyze the present time? That's something to ponder and go to the Lord about. This is your daily devotional for Tuesday. I hope you're doing well. hope you'll seek first the kingdom of God and pray for the church and pray for me and Hope you'll, like we saw with David Sunday, make yourself strong in the Lord. God bless you as you serve him today.